So as I said in the last video that we're gonna solve some questions. Uh, we're gonna do some examples uh, in this video. So let's do just that. So I have this uh, these questions from exercise 12.1 and let's see how we're gonna solve them. Not solve actually, let's see how we're gonna differentiate them. Remember when you solve something, that means you're doing it to find a certain value or something, okay? So it says differentiate with respect to X. Okay, so I'm gonna do the parts that I've highlighted. So let's do part C. So part C is X to the power of minus three. Now let's differentiate this, let's see what happens. So minus three gets multiplied by the coefficient of x, which is one in this case, and then you take one further away from the power, so that becomes minus four. Now, as you know, I don't like leaving a power as negative, so I'm just gonna make it positive and write it as minus three upon x to the power four, okay? No particular reason behind doing that, it's just a personal preference, okay? Now then comes part f which first thing I wanna do is I wanna make it differentiation ready. Okay, so now it is differentiation ready. Then we can go about differentiating it, which means that this becomes minus five, x to the power minus five minus one, which is equal to minus six. And then as always, I'm gonna make the power positive. So this becomes minus five over x to the power six. Okay, then comes part q, which has a, which has a bit of simplification to do. Okay, so x cubed into x, we're not gonna differentiate them the way they are. So first we're gonna simplify them. So same bases are being multiplied. That means powers are gonna be added. So that's exactly what I've done. Now I'm gonna differentiate them and this becomes what? This becomes three X square. There you go, that's it. Okay, now comes part T, which is Y equals to X square root X over X cubed. So this has a lot of simplification too. Not a lot actually compared to the kind of questions that we're about to solve. This one's pretty easy, okay? So X into X to the power half over x cube. Okay, so you want to do this step by step so that you don't get anything wrong. One plus half is equal to 1.5 or three over two over x cube. Now using the rule of indices, okay, that's, um, that is same bases are being divided. So that means the powers are going to get subtracted. So three upon two minus three gives us y equals to x to the power minus three upon two. Now we can go on and differentiate them. So dy upon dx becomes minus three upon two x to the power minus three upon two minus one, okay, which I think I can directly write as minus five upon two. Okay, so I'm gonna do just that. And then it's up to you how you wanna leave this. I am gonna make it positive. So minus three remains as it is over two. And with two, we have x to the power five upon two. Okay, now in some cases, you might see this written like this, okay? X to the power five inside the square root, okay? And that's the same thing, you know, it's using the rule of indices that uh, since the power that you have outside of the root is two, which makes it the square root, so you can write it as five upon two also. And there you go, that's it, that's your answer. Okay, now we're gonna do some slightly more complex questions, okay? So here you can see that we have multiple expressions, uh, multiple terms, sorry, which make up one expression. So let's find out the dy by dx of this. And as always, I'm gonna do the parts that I've highlighted that are b, g, and i, okay? So eight fives are 40, x to the power five minus one, which is four, minus six, x to the power one, minus zero, which I'm not gonna write at all, okay? Okay, so that was part b. Now let's do part g. Now with part g, there is a bit of simplification that we need to do before we can differentiate it. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna write x cube upon x separately and then minus three upon x separately. So x cube upon x can be simplified and written as x square minus three. And then we're gonna take the x from the denominator to the numerator so that it becomes differentiation ready, okay? Now it's ready to be differentiated. So dy by dx becomes two x minus, now this is where you have to be very careful, okay? Especially when you have a lot of negative signs here and there, okay? So minus, minus one, okay, which gets multiplied by three, okay, and then x to the power minus one minus one, which is minus two, okay? So remember this minus sign is from before, okay? This minus one has now been multiplied by three, which is now going to become minus three, and then overall it's gonna become three. Why? Because minus minus becomes plus. So you have two x plus three, x to the power minus two, which, you know, I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna to prefer to write it as x square. There you go, that's part G, done. Okay, then comes part I. So here also, I am going to first separate the denominator and write it individually with all the terms in the numerator. So x upon x to the power half minus one upon x to the power half. Okay, now, 
Now we're going to simplify it. Now, please remember to not write this as dy by dx because it is not dy by dx just as yet, okay? Dy by dx, it will turn into later. So x to the power two minus half becomes three upon two minus x to the power half minus x to the power minus half. Okay, so what have I done? I'll just quickly walk you through. So two minus half becomes, be, becomes three upon two. One minus half becomes just half. And this, if you take it from the denominator to the numerator, it becomes minus half. Okay. Now all of this is ready to be differentiated. So this becomes three upon two x to the power three over two minus one, or, or in other words, 1.5 minus one becomes just 0.5 minus half over x to the power minus half because half minus one becomes minus half. Okay, now this is where we have to be extremely careful. So minus minus half x to the power minus half minus one minus three upon two. And I will strongly suggest that if you're not if you're not that confident about your mental maths, which is fine, it's completely okay. Uh, I suggest you use a calculator. Okay. So dy by dx becomes. Let's write down the final answer. So this becomes three upon two x to the power half minus one upon two square root of x, which reminds me that I'm gonna write this as square root of x also, okay? Just looks nicer, okay? And then minus minus becomes plus one upon two, and with two, you have the power x, you have x raised to the power three upon two. And there you go, that's part I solved, okay? So this is what I wanted to do in this video. In the next video, we're gonna do some more questions where we will actually find the gradient. Okay. So that's it for this video. It's, as you can see that in the video so far, we've just learned how to differentiate. We haven't learned how to plug in a value and find the gradient because that's exactly what we're gonna do in the next video. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.